Welcome to the Teeny Greeny. My name is Rob Greenfield and I compost my own poop. You heard me. I live right here in San Diego, in the city, in this tiny house, and I compost my own poop. Now you probably have some questions like, is this stinky? Is this safe? Haven't we evolved past the point of having to deal with our own poop? Well, let me take you to my toilet. Like any flush toilet, you sit on it and go poop. And you can use toilet paper, just like a flush toilet too. But instead of flushing, you then take a dry substance like shredded newspaper, leaves, or soil to cover it up. And this masks the smell completely. This is one of the simplest forms of compost toilets that exist. It's a box built out of repurposed wood with some screws, a toilet lid, and two five-gallon buckets. It cost me less than $10 to make. When the bucket is full, you then move it to the actual compost step. Or you can wait until a few buckets are full to use your time more wisely. You compost human waste just like you would kitchen scraps and yard waste, in a compost pile. Micro and macroorganisms, that's bacteria and insects, break it down into its simplest components. This form of compost is called humanure, for human manure. Humanure can be done in multiple ways, but it should always be composted first. Composting kills disease organisms like parasites, hepatitis, cholera, and typhoid. I do active composting, which heats the pile up to 120 to 150 degrees. This heat kills off everything that could make a person sick. Passive composting will get the job done too, but with the lower temperatures, you've got to let it compost for a whole year. I've had dozens of people over, and everyone's amazed at the complete lack of smell. When composting is done properly, with poop or not, it will not stink. You can even have a compost indoors. There's so many different types of compost toilets out there. This is just what I happen to be using. But some even do the composting below the toilet, and you never have to deal with the poop. But still, you might be asking, why would anybody want to be doing this? Why wouldn't we just use a flush toilet? A toilet uses 1.6 gallons of water per flush. This uses zero. All of the nutrients in our waste are wasted when we use a flush toilet. Humanure returns the nutrients to our soil so we can grow food with it. The entire system around flush toilets uses a lot of electricity and resources, and wastewater treatment plants cause far more pollution than we'd like to think. Also, it's a solution for the billions of people who don't have plumbing and suffer from sanitation problems surrounding that. Before I started doing this, I had no clue that it could be done. But after reading the Humanure Handbook, it really all made sense to me. I can't possibly sum it all up in one video, but if you're interested in any way, I recommend reading that book. A link to a free copy, plus a guide on how to compost with or without your poop can be found at robgreenfield.tv slash composting.